a lot of customers ask us about power flushing. Where, where does the actual sludge come from in, in the first place? You know, why, why, why is there sludge in the central heating system? Well, firstly, there's not always sludge, um, but, but how does it get there? Well, very, very simply, you've got three metals in the central heating system. You've got radiators that are made of steel, you've got generally the pipes that connect them all made of copper, and then you've got the fittings, for example, the radiator valves, joints on the system, the strainer, they're made of brass, and what happens is tiny particles of steel from the radiator, tiny particles of copper from the copper pipe work, and also tiny particles of brass from the brass fittings get together within the system, mix together, and with the uh, expansion and construction, the, the heat from the, from the water in the system, they create um, a mini battery, a chemical effect that causes the, the sludge and also the uh, corrosive effects of that. So that really does need to be dealt with, that needs to be treated appropriately. On every boiler that we install, uh, one of the first things we do is we uh, test the water. Uh, one of the most important things uh, from the boiler manufacturer's perspective, and this is purely for the warranty, is that the water in the central heating system is cleaned to the appropriate standard as required by the manufacturer. Here's an example of how pipes can be blocked up. This is a section of a heating pipe taken from within a boiler from the heat exchanger and as you can see here all the sludge not only is sludged up the system but you can see where it's actually ground in and blocked up the pipes and this is obviously one of the things that we need to do to make sure the system's nice and clean, the water's treated, it's left with chemicals in there to stop this ever happening again so that the boiler and the central heating system are protected. Um, so what we do is on every job, once we've tested the water, because it's actually possible to, to look at the water, take samples and see that the water's clear. You think, oh, it's fine. It's not sludged up. It's not dirty. The water looks nice and clear. However, we still need to check the pH levels to make sure that it's not acidic or too much of an alkaline. Um, so we would then, in those cases, obviously flush the system through, neutralize the system, clean the system through, and then for added protection, this is something that we do on every boiler installation. We install a magnetic filter, and in addition to that, we also install a strainer filter, so that if there's any debris that's been left in the system after the system's been flushed through, and six months later, if it's been ground in, it's been there for 15 years and suddenly flakes off and flies through the system, if it gets through the magnetic filter, it won't get through the strainer filter. And we do that as double protection on every boiler, because the one thing we don't want is a callback uh, because the, uh, the boiler's blocked up.